Today I want to show you the preacher curl. This is a pretty standard preacher bench. Sitting here, grab the dumbbell. Nice stretch, arm out nice and straight at the top, squeeze the top. Problem is, there's not really much of a reason to squeeze the top because at the top here, I'm kind of chilling out and relaxed. So, problem with the preacher bench is that the angle tends to be like this, which means you get a nice stretch and probably here it feels like it's pretty good, but a 90 degree angle here, where I'm gonna get the best squeeze at the top here, where I should be squeezed the most, I'm actually relaxed the most. So I could go around to this side and curl this way. This is cool. So this is one way of doing it. So a nice big stretch at the top, super squeeze, but the weight wants to fall down. Or I could. Raise the seat, change the angle. So now at the top, here when I'm squeezing hard, the weight is still wanting to fall that way. It's not, I'm not relaxed as much at the top. Nice stretch, squeeze. So a preacher curl, uh, the problem with the preacher curl is that the bench tends to be sloped too much and also if you're doing two arms at a time, if I'm curling this way, I tend to be protracted too much. That actually closes up the shoulder joint and can, um, can put some tension, pressure, pressure on, the, on the nerves through there. So the best bet is to actually have it one arm at a time, nice squeeze. Again, make sure that at the top, you're under load, so not kind of relaxed. So change the angle, so at the top here, I'm actually under load still. Give that a go next time you're training.